Okay. This morning, before the sun starts beating on us, I'm out here working on these Corvette doors. And instead of sandblasting, which I guess you could use walnut shells or something really light to clean it, I've actually been using a chemical stripper. And yes, it's actually called Cooper's Strip Club. Now, for everybody that your wife sees your credit card statement, um, go ahead and warn her ahead of time before you buy this stuff because that's how it comes up on the credit card as Cooper's Strip Club. So if you order $300 worth of stripper and then don't tell your wife that it's a paint stripper coming, you're going to have a lot of explaining to do. So don't say I didn't warn you. But this is actually great stuff. You can see it takes it right down to the fiberglass. I mean, all the way around. It's great stuff. And it has a stripper, which is part one. And then you have the flusher. Okay. That's basically just your cleanup after it's done stripping. But what I found on the other door is somebody tried to cover it up. I guess there was some kind of damage that went to the door. But this giant crack that went two ways. Not really sure how they did that. But I don't know if you can see the depth. But that's Bondo really, really thick. Um, and I wondered why this door weighed so much when I took it off. Yeah, it was full of Bondo. So we're going to get rid of all that Bondo. And then we're going to try to repair this fiberglass the proper way. Um, and yeah, somebody had to draw a little bit of artwork on there. They said that looked like the, the Jackson River and the Cowpasture River to, going together to form the James. They thought it was an ancient map, being a little bit hilarious. But uh, let me get suited up. Because, yes, you do have to put something on because that stripper stuff is rough on your skin. Like, very rough on it. So, wear gloves, long sleeves, wear a mask, you know, yada yada. You know, safety glasses, all that stuff because this stuff is serious. But it does the job. So... Let me get suited up and I'll show you some of it in action. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for today.